Hello the internet, you're with Got That Funk and this is yet another video response to my friend Kazoom Fowler and the discussion that we've been having about sexual harassment and so forth. Um, Kazoom made a video response to me which I will link in the description box below if you're interested. Um, but Kazoom, uh, with respect mate, uh, I'm not going to be making a direct rebuttal to the things you said with this video because I worry that if I do that you and I are just going to end up going around and around in circles and uh, we, neither one of us will either get very far uh, and uh, you know since people are watching we will bore the audience as well which is uh, not my intention certainly so um, I want to get you to think about this issue and and try and understand it uh, from the inside out and uh, I, I have a couple of different ideas in my head for how to do that um, this is way number one and uh, depending on the results of uh, how this video um, is understood, we may or may not get video number two. So uh, I beg your and the audience's indulgence because uh, I'm going to step away from conversing about uh, sexual objectification and harassment for just a moment. I'm going to make the exact same point, but I worry that. Uh, talking about sexual harassment in particular carries with it uh, a lot of implied baggage um, in terms of feminist rhetoric and so forth and that's absolutely not where I'm coming from I'm talking about natural human reactions to stimulus okay and I want to do this in a way that uh, everybody can relate to uh, whether you're uh, a straight queer gay uh, whatever um, it doesn't matter I think uh, I hope anyway that uh, everybody can relate to what I'm about to say. All right, in most cultures that I'm aware of anyway, it is considered rude to stare at someone. Why? As far as I'm aware, the reason it's considered rude is because you can make someone feel uncomfortable. And let me be clear, I'm not talking about staring at someone in an admiring way whether you're looking at their face or their breasts or their legs or their ass or their muscles or whatever. I'm not talking about any of that. I'm not talking about staring at someone in a way which is sexually objectifying. Not at all. I'm just talking about staring at someone. At some point when you stare at someone, they do start to get uncomfortable. It's a perfectly legitimate question to wonder why. After all, you're not hurting them, right? You're not even speaking to them. You're simply acknowledging their presence with your eyes. That's all you're doing. And yet, it can make people feel uncomfortable. Why? Does it even matter why? If it makes people feel uncomfortable, and we know this, we consider it rude to do it. Okay? Now, let's look at it from the other person's point of view for a second. Hang on a second. You know, I, I can stare if I want to. You know, these are my eyes. You don't get to fucking tell me what to do with my own body. These are my eyes. They're in my head. I will decide what I do with my eyes. And if I want to stare at you, and it makes you feel uncomfortable tough fucking shit these are my eyes you don't get to tell me what to do with my eyes you don't It's just a social construct. But what's it based on? Is it based on a simple, natural, spontaneous human condition where we don't know why something is happening, i.e. we're being stared at, and it's the not knowing that makes us uncomfortable? Or is there something explicit about staring in particular, uh, do, you know, uh, is, do you feel, uh, when someone's staring at you, do you feel they're projecting something onto you, you know, uh, this idea, you know, like the windows of the soul or whatever, you know, um, the eyes of the windows of the soul, and if, uh, you, you know, 
It's interesting to me how sometimes you can feel when someone's staring at you, even when you're not actually looking at them. You can sense it off the side or whatever, and on your, on your periphery, and you still know someone's staring at you. So, you know, it's a really interesting question why it bothers people. But I think we can all agree that depending on the circumstances, it almost always makes you feel uncomfortable if someone stares at you long enough and you don't know why. So roll that around in your head, take the same principle and magnify it when you talk about sexual objectification because most people uh, only want to be admired by the people they want to be admired by. You know, uh, For some people that's a lot of people, uh, but for some people it's not and it's not for any of us to tell someone else where their own boundaries ought to be. So um, Think about my staring example, though, because you're not even speaking to someone, you're not being overtly rude or harmful, but our society tends to consider it rude anyway, even though you're not, all you're doing is acknowledging their existence with your eyes continuously. That's it. Why is that wrong? Why should it make someone feel uncomfortable? Does it matter why? It should make feel someone feel uncomfortable. Just knowing the fact that it's likely to make feel someone feel uncomfortable ought to be enough. That's my opinion. All right. Um, so give that some thought. Let me know what you think, and uh, you know, expand it. You know, use your lateral thinking, and uh, hopefully, we'll get somewhere. Thanks for watching this video. 